the Elections Observation Group, ELOG. ELOG is a domestic platform for observing and monitoring the electoral cycle before the elections, during the elections, and after the elections. ELOG is composed of Kenyan civil society organizations and faith-based organizations. This is a permanent Kenyan platform. ELOG briefings are different because they are based on facts that are quantitative, which are drawn from uh, a tool called PVT that is parallel voter tabulation, which will also make projections on the results that will come out from IEBC and will let the public know whether our projections tally. This is a statistical tool. I won't go more into it. So whatever we tell you comes out through a very large sample, through systematic reports. So what we give you is facts and not generalities. So this is where our reports are different. So the elections observation group, that's ELOG, has so far issued two statements on the election day processes, highlighting on the setup and opening of polls and the voting process. On these, our findings generally note, noted that uh, the opening and closing processes went well, albeit with some challenges, uh, namely late opening of polling streams and uh, malfunctioning of the electronic poll books amongst others. We have also concluded our analysis on the counting process of which our findings indicate that the process was up to the set standard. Particularly, on the counting process, we noted that political party agents requested a recount in the presidential election in only 2.8% of the polling streams. Additionally, an ODM or WIPA party agent that's uh, representing the court coalition was present in 87.9% of all the polling streams. Where they were present, the ODM or WIPA agent signed the declaration of results for the presidential elections in 94 0.9% of the polling streams. Similarly, a TNA, a TNA stroke URP party agent representing the Jubilee Coalition, that is, was present in 90% of all the polling streams. Where they were present, the TNA or URP agent signed the declaration of results for the presidential elections in 95% Point six percent of the polling streams. We are aware of the challenges that have arisen with regard to the electronic transmission of results and the consequent decision and action by IEBC to manually tally the presidential result. We wish to note that the manual tallying process is recognized in the, in, 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 in the law and consequently, IBC's abandoning of the electronic tallying process and resorting to manually tallying does not invalidate the credibility of the process. What clearly is lost, though, is efficiency and transparency, hence the delay and uh, anxiety that we are witnessing. While not much can be done to make the process much more efficient. We take this opportunity to urge the IEBC to open the, the, the manually, manual tallying process to thorough scrutiny in order to retain the transparency which ought to have been enhanced by the electronic tallying system. This can be done by allowing uh, party agents, the media, and independent observers to verify from 36. We therefore urge politicians and the general public to, to remain calm and allow IBC to finish its work. We would like to reassure Kenyans that uh, through our work on parallel vote tabulation, 
we shall be in a position to verify and safeguard the integrity of the final presidential ele election results as announced by IBC. We remain committed to our mandate and will continue being vigilant in accurately recording and reporting the tabulation process. I think we mentioned that uh, our process, especially the PVT tool, is very systematic. So we, 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 we've uh, monitored the, 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 the op opening and set of <coughs> polling stations, uh, the voting itself, and the counting. Uh, what we are doing now is uh, doing our calculations. Uh, and and, and, and uh, very soon we'll be doing a projection. Uh, that's to say that uh, so far we've not witnessed anything alarming about rejected votes. But for us to give you the actual percentages, we, it will come up with our projection, which we'll be doing uh, very soon. Uh, in terms of your second uh, question uh, about women, I think everybody can guess why this is happening in our Kenyan content. Uh, we are a patriarchal society to begin with. But in our assessment also, because we were mon monitoring uh, campaign financing, I think the issue of financing is a big uh, problem for women. It's really women, youth, and uh, people with disability. Uh, and that's why they are not faring but very well in competitive politics. You know, the problem with our politics is very capital intensive. If you don't have a lot of money, you, you are not likely to make a lot of impact. And you can even see from the form performance of candidates that uh, uh, people with money generally tend to fare better than people who don't have the money. Even aside from Melok, the Commission has released, uh, I think, results for about 120, 119 constituencies, and they have been now mentioning this vote. Uh, I think all of us can cal calculate the percentages, and what is obvious is there's a disparity. I think the Commission has promised to give an explanation, and we are saying that on our part also, as a result of our overall calculation, we'll be able to give a percentage and adduce, uh, you know, evidence or reasons as to why uh, votes were declared uh, rejected. And that can only come in our next report when we do our final projections. Okay. Yeah, I think what we can say as ELOG and our observers is that the very essence of electronic transmission was that this data is available to everybody at the same time. So that when the, 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 the results are announced at the polling station, everybody has access to them. That was the ideal situation. Now what happens is that this thing has not worked. What we are telling IABC is that they should be able to compensate for this you know, loss of uh, instant access by at least allowing party agents, observers, and uh, the media access to, 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 to the forms so that the element of transparency is not lost completely. That's the statement we are making. From our sample, polling streams or stations where we were, we captured the data. And, and, and of course, we have a few instances where, even from the forms that we have been filed back, sometimes we notice that the, 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 the number of uh, votes is more than the, 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 the number that it, uh, is reflected as uh, was projected to vote from the streams. But there are explanations to it. Uh, because we, are, we, are, we have a national sample, we don't want to spe speak to specific cases. Uh, we'll do that if needs arise when we are doing our projections. But there are a number of reasons that uh, might explain this, including uh, people borrowing, uh, I mean, voters going to one stream uh, within the same polling station and voting from there. But we don't want to speculate now. We'll do a systematic analysis because that's what we are doing.